Hello, this is Doug Brook at North Star DHI Services. Today we are going to be using Money Corrected in Milk, one of the new components of the PC Dart program. Money Corrected in Milk is an index using the value of components in the marketplace to determine the productivity of a cow. To get started, we do need to go to the input desk and enter some information in the Money Corrected Milk portion of PC Dart. Today we are using Component Marketplace because that's what the Midwest most likely is in. Taking numbers off from the milk check, fat is being paid to producers at $2.20 a pound. Protein is being paid at $3.80 a pound. Other solids at $0.45 cents a pound. Quality bonus at $0.50 cents a pound. Hauling $0.50 cents per hundredweight. Advertising and promotion, $0.25. Cents. There we have the necessary piece of information to get started with our money corrected in milk calculations. Anything in this screen that has a red asterisk needs to have numbers put in. Now, to be able to get the income over feed cost, we need to know the cost per pound of dry matter. Today we're going to be using $0.16 cents per pound of dry matter. That's a number that can come from the nutritionalist. 16 cents, 17 cents maybe if you're pushing the cows a little bit more than normal. That would be a number that I would be using. It's a relative number to determine what it costs to feed cows. So then we're going to say OK. Now that we have that information put into PC Dart, we need to be able to bring that out. We're going to create then a new user report. We're going to call a new user report. We're going to call this Money Corrected Milk. Of course, for cows, I want to be able to sort this by my database item 239, which is income over feed cost, ascending. The information that I want to have on this report, database item number 4, which is group number, database item number 50, which is index number, database item 239, which is estimated income over feed cost, database item number 960 which is current money corrected milk 234 is a daily value of product now to be able to dress this report up just a little bit I'll put in a vertical line we're then going to be looking at current milk production database item number 11 72 is and 73 are the database items for current fat percentage and protein percentage and database item 111 is for current somatic cell count. To be able to have some more information to determine whether cows are going to be viable when I'm looking at money corrected milk numbers, I probably want to know how many days in milk she is. I want to use a database item 86, which is a combination times bread, repro code, and date bread. Database item 2, days since breeding or heat. Database item number three, days until due to calf. And I also want to take a look at lactation number. If I go ahead and preview this report, I have a bunch of information for all the cows. And this current income over feed cost is the most important column to be able to kind of have an index type information to look at to see if cows are profitable in my particular herd. One thing I do want to do is I want to be able to delete the dry cows because they are really unimportant in money corrected milk for today's test day. Once in the filter I put in 6 which is status code. Down here it tells me that if I put in a 2 is lower and 9 is upper that will exclude the dry cows. So I go ahead and save this report. It's report number 26 for me. And now I have report number 26 in my user reports, which is number 26. Here I have my income over feed cost for this particular herd. This income over feed cost can be used in calling decisions, can be used in looking at high and low milk production for cows and assessing performance. So this is Doug Brook at North Star DHI Services. You may contact me at any of the numbers listed on the screen. Thank you for your attention.